Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Colton, and today we're doing a Halloween themed candy series to celebrate Halloween and October overall, which is my favorite month. So we're gonna take the candy art series that I've been doing over the last couple years, and we're gonna put a little bit of a spooky Halloween twist to it, which is mainly just in the form of photographing Halloween candy. Um, as I was collecting candy and kind of visualizing this concept, um, I realized I actually have a backdrop that's orange uh, that would be perfect for this that I bought through my closet and completely forgot about. So we are using a fresh backdrop that should have been used probably months or years ago, finally getting its chance to be used. And of course, we're gonna lay out candy, classic Colton style, and shoot that. Now, that's probably spooky enough but in order to make it even a little more so, I'm gonna be using a Frankenstein camera. Now I know some of you who've been watching the channel for a while will probably say, Colton, the Pentax 645D is already a Frankenstein setup as it is. And while you're right, I'm gonna take it a step further and we're gonna use the Fujifilm GFX 50S. We're gonna put an adapter on there and adapt a 80 millimeter lens for the Mamiya 645 onto the Fujifilm camera. And then also we're gonna inherit the flash setup from the Pentax 645D to the Fujifilm, which is a Sony uh, Godox flash. And it's attached to several different adapters to be able to put it into the hot shoe mount and then it has a PC sync cable running from the 50S to the Sony trigger. A lot of different brands at play here, very Frankenstein setup, but that's the camera that we're gonna to use to shoot all of the pictures for today's episode. Now, as far as the candy is concerned, I uh, have a couple different options to kind of play around with. Might even add a few more in there halfway through the shoot if I'm feeling uh, extra, but uh, what we have, number one is a mixed bag of candy. This was always some of my favorite candy to get. I always loved, you know, the bubble gum, lollipops, Skittles, all those different little candies. Always was a little more on the sweet side than maybe the chocolate side for me. So got a mixed bag there. And then we also have your classic candy corn. While I'm not a big fan of candy corn, it is one of the most Halloween candies you can get, so had to throw that in there. And then we're bringing in, uh, we have some pumpkins, so I think those will be really fun to shoot as well. And then we've also got the mixed bag of body parts, which apparently has fingers, brains, um, eyeballs, all kinds of stuff in there. So I think that one's gonna be one of the most fun to play with, but that's the candy that we're starting out with for this particular shoot. So uh, I have to do some prep work to put up the new backdrop and to get everything set up. So without further ado, let's get prepping.
Okay, so now in shooting with this Fujifilm camera, what I have kind of learned as I've gone so far is that you really have to bring the aperture up to the max aperture, which is f4, so that you can focus manually and get locked in. And then you have to very quickly bring that aperture back down to say f11, uh, so that you can fire the shot and have the exposure and everything look correct. So that is slowing me down a little bit, but I already have some experience doing this because when I shoot my carnival long exposures, I'll bring my aperture to f2.8 and I will get focused, you know, precisely on whatever I want to focus on. And then before doing the long exposure, I'll bring that aperture back down to whatever lower, you know, f11, f12, whatever it may be, and then do the long exposure. So I'm already kind of used to that process, but I will say hand holding it and doing it in a much quicker way is a little bit trickier, but it looks like the shots are still coming out really well. So I guess I'm better at it than I would expect to be, but um, I would definitely say a tripod uh, is a little easier to do that with. All right, so I very quickly wanted to show you the kinds of edits that I did to these photos. I'm not gonna go through and edit each one, but I'll just show you what I did with this particular photo. So this is the final product, 
and this is gonna be how it came out of camera. So really the big thing that I'm doing with this editing tool is just trying to even out this exposure and that's pretty much it. So um, to that point under our masking tab here, I set up a few different masks. Really, I'm playing with highlights, shadows, um, and exposure to just make it overall more globally uh, even. And then under the Remove tab, I've gone in and really just removed anything like dirt, um, sugar particles, hair follicles that might have fallen onto uh, the backdrop while we were shooting but I'm not doing anything to make the candy look more perfect or anything like that, just some very minor removals here. And then really the final piece is just going in and making some very minor general uh, adjustments globally to the whole image um, to kind of raise the exposure and contrast and then drop the shadows and blacks just a little bit to make it a little bit more punchy. Um, but outside of that, really nothing else has been done. Uh, no color correction or uh, you know adjustments here. Um, so we're not playing with the color. Obviously, if you adjust the shadows and blacks and whatnot, you'll um, make an impact a little bit on the color. But this is pretty much what it looked like to my human eye. So just kind of making it a little bit more punchy. But that's pretty much it as far as any edits to these photos. All right, so we're done with the photo shoot. And over the last few days, I edited all the photos. So without further ado, I wanna show you the photos from our Halloween candy art photo shoot. Let me know which of those photos was your favorite or if you have any questions or thoughts about this particular video, drop those in the comments below. You know, overall I had a ton of fun and it was really exciting to get to do the candy art series with a heavy theme applied to it. I will be sharing a few of the images on my Instagram account. So if you wanna check those out in greater detail, then join me there. Um, but otherwise, I think that's going to be it for the video. I hope you all have a great Halloween. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, do give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. That's going to keep you in the know for when the next video drops. But for now, I'm Colton. Have a happy Halloween.